Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to build this little hero section up here. We've got a little typing effect going on. Great little eye-catching feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. We're actually going to use a free plugin for this today and I'll put the link below the video. It's called Divi Supreme Modules Lite and you get 20 new modules for the Divi theme and three extensions. And from the link below, it'll take you to this page. Just click on Divi Supreme Light here. Supreme Modules Light. It'll take you to their page here and give you some information about their 20 plugins and extensions. If you go all the way down to the bottom, there's the free download button. Download it and install it like any other plugin. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder. And once enabled, I'm going to go down and simply delete this section here. Let's add a new section first, right underneath it. Little blue button for a section. I'm going to add a regular section. I'll come back to that. Let's delete our top section here. There we go. So we've got an empty section there. I'm going to hit the green button to add a row. I'm going to put a single column in for mine today. And it's going to prompt us to put in a module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you install the Divi Supreme Light plugin, you get these blue ones here. And there's about 20 of them, and there's some fantastic little free additions for you there. And we've got a few extra Divi ones at the bottom. If you've got WooCommerce installed and you're selling products on your site, on your site Divi will also give you an extra dozen or so modules to do that with. Okay. And I'm going to use Supreme Typing today from Supreme Modules Lite. And there it is. As you can see, it's already put in a little demo for us up there. Let's move this across just a little bit. Okay, decide what you want to write in here. And if you want multiple lines, you know, one thing to happen at first and then at something else afterwards we can put a pipe in let's just correct that spelling error right there so after site I'm going to put a pipe in and the pipes usually on a US keyboard just above the enter key and you hit shift and there's a pipe it's just a straight line like that you can add another line afterwards and yet another one if you decide to just add another pipe and put in whatever it is you want to put in. And as you can see, it's doing one, then it's going back, going to the next one, going back and going to the next one. If we move down a little bit, we've got our typing options here. Now you can change the speed. At the moment, default's 100 milliseconds, which looks pretty good to me. That's, that's pretty readable. But if you want to speed it up, put a smaller value in, obviously. If you want to slow it down put a larger value in I'm gonna leave mine at the hundred I quite like that speed that it actually comes back you can change here same thing slow it down if you want to or speed it up I'm gonna slow mine down a bit give them a bit more time to read it when it comes back and you can set a delay when the actual cursor gets to the end you can delay it before it starts coming back default 700 milliseconds there I'm going to up mine to maybe 1200 or 1 1.2 seconds. That way it'll stay there, give them a chance to read it, and then come back and do the next one. I think I'm going to bring that back speed back up a little bit to maybe 100 as we've got the delay on now. If you actually want to link this whole module to something, you can put a link in down below here. Just put your link in right there. Always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. You can add a little background to it if you want to. Let's just put a simple background color in so you can see what's going on. And it's filling up the whole of our available space on our column there. Okay, well, let's move on down. We'll go over to our design tab now. Now here's our main text settings. I'm going to leave it as an H1, seeing as this is going to be a hero section up here. It wants to be the main title. 
divvy as usual it's got a huge amount of fonts just click on the font there and it'll bring up a list and like i say there is a crazy amount of fonts i've been using divvy for four or five years now <laughs> i've not gone through all these fonts yet and if you want to audition one just simply roll over it it'll give you an example of that font i'm going to stick to the default today I am going to make it perhaps bold so we can see it better. I'm going to make it white in color. I'm going to align it to the middle. And let's just move this over now we've done that. I'm going to make it uppercase. And I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Let's take it up to perhaps 100 pixels. It may fall off the end, we'll see. Just put in the 100, it'll put in the pixels for you. Yeah, that's falling off the end a little bit. I might tighten the letters up a little bit with the letter spacing down below. Let's go for maybe minus. What this does, it pulls them, pulls the letters a little bit tighter. Yeah, that's okay. Let's take this down to 90 because it's, it's still breaking. I don't want it to break into two lines there. Yeah, that seems to work okay. Now, if you're using this on your mobile and tablet sites, you can check it. And this is common to most Divi modules. If I just go back over here and we roll over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons. Go to the thing that you want to affect. Mine's going to be text size. And if there's a little mobile phone type icon there, click on it. it gives us a desktop version, tablet version, and a phone. And you can have different settings on each. So let's pop it on tablet and see what it's going to do. It's breaking up there, so let's maybe take that down to 50 and see what happens there. Move this out of the way slightly. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Let's have a look on phone. I don't think there's any way we'll stop it from breaking on the phone. I think I might take it down to... Let's take it down to... Try 30. It's okay, but I've got to take that letter spacing back up on the mobile because it's just, they're all sort of merging into each other. So again, go to the letter spacing down below, get on the mobile version. You want to make sure you're on the thing you want to affect. And let's take that back up a little bit. Yeah, that's splitting. That's okay. But let's take it down to 25 perhaps. Yeah, that's going to work for us. Great. Well, let's go back to our desktop site and continue on. So we've got what we want it to say going on up there. Let's just make the rest of our hero section very quickly. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go into my section. I'm going to add an image, simple image behind it. Blue tab for a section. I'm going to go down to background. You've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask. I'm going to put a simple image in the back here. I guess I'll use the same one as I used before. If you want to, you can make it parallax by switching that little switch on. True parallax, if you notice, it's going to move up and down at a different speed from the rest of the site there. Or well, you've got CSS parallax, which is also known as fixed background, where the image will stay exactly where it is. I'm not going to use parallax on mine today, but that is a great feature to use. So we've got our image in there, I've got it covering, I've got it centered, which is fine. I'm just going to pop in a button underneath it and give it a bit more padding top and bottom to make it a bit deeper. So I'm going to go over to my dark design, still in the section. I'm simply going to go down to spacing. Let's give it a padding top and bottom of 150 pics. So I'm just going to type in 150, it'll put the pics in, hit the chain, it'll do the bottom for us right there. Great, I'm not going to put any left and right, so we're happy with that. Let's just add a quick call to action button and then just tweak that background color a little bit so it's not so vivid and we're good to go. So I'm going to click on the module here, little dark button to add a new module. This time I'm going to use a simple Divi button. And there it is right there. Put in whatever you want your button to say here, obviously.
And down below is where you put the link in that you want to take people with your button, obviously, saying best practices apply. Let's go over to our design now. I'm going to pop the button in the middle with the alignment. And I want to use custom style, so I'm going to go down to the button, use custom styles. I'm going to make the text color white, text size I'm going to leave as it is. And I'm going to give it a background color. Let's give it that same purple. And let's have that color change when we hover over it. And this is similar to what we did on the mobile versions here. If we click on that, we can close it or open it. Let's go over the little arrow this time, and you'll find this again with most start writing on the modules there. Click on the arrow. We can set a desktop state of one color and a hover state when your mouse is on it, obviously, of a different color perhaps. That works fine. I'm just going to take the opacity down just about 75% so we can see a bit of the image behind. Of course, all this is subjective. It's entirely up to you how you decorate yours. And I'm going to take that border off as well. I don't believe I want a border on there. Take that down just slightly more. There we go. So if we roll down a bit, button border width, I'm going to take that down to zero. And we've lost, lost the border there. Okay, that's pretty much it for all I want to do there. I'll give it a bit of text shadow just to help it stand out on that field a little bit more. Great, well that's our button taken care of. Let's go and take that background color down some so it's a lot more subtle. So I'm going to go back into this module, hit the little cog. First tab, content, down to background. And let's take the opacity, I don't know, Pretty much all the way down so it's sort of there but not too much that works for me and there we have it so obviously you can continue building put a subtitle in if you want to and anything else you want to put i've kept this very simple today but that's a nice little plug-in for free so let's save our changes and make sure it's going to work on the front end save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the visual builder and there we have it. We've got our little typing text there, which is a nice eye-catching effect. If you'd put a link, you could scroll over it and link to somewhere. But we put a little call to action button down underneath. As you can see, it's changing color there on hover for us. And like I say, we've used the free DB Supreme Lite modules for this today. Really nice little addition. For a free plugin, it's got some fantastic little modules. It really does. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to put any questions down below and we'll try and make a video of them for you if we can. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.